Hello everyone and welcome to another video about Zaf Laser. This video is one of those ones that get me really pumped because uh, there is a lot of things to cover here. We're gonna just show a little bit, like give a teaser of the criteria of Laser Property Editor, but uh, we also want to discuss the phases that we have gone through to get to, to this end result. And uh, I also want to mention uh, we have a really, really uh, brilliant developer and old team that helped us a lot with this. So I want to say kudos to him. Okay, Jorge, so we are uh, talking about the Criteria Property Editor for the Blazor Criteria Property Editor. If you see, we know that in Blazor right now that is still not uh, implemented. And the only thing that we have is this box where we can type it and basically we validate afterward. But it's not intuitive, it's not... Uh, the one that we are used to in wind forms and web forms. And if you see right here, we have a question about 22 uh, first card. Actually, we're in 23 already. So we have not here anything about this. I, I it thinks that I select an old ticket, but mm -hmm. uh, we actually asked in one of our own tickets and they told us, no, not, not yet. We are not working on there yet. So let's uh, show it in action and then we can discuss uh, the implementation. So basically, we have this uh, property editor that is going to be applied to this criterion. And we're going to select an object type. Let's say that we're selecting employee. And let's put any names here. So we're going to save it. And then we get a, a, a control that it pop ups. And then we here, we can start adding conditions. And if you see, we have all the metadata of that class. So we have the name, the birthday, the salary, or ID. We even have the nested property and so on. So basically, if we select something like, uh, I don't know, let's say name, you're gonna have a string property, and then you have equal, not equal, and you can put here, Jose. And if you see right away, it's creating the criteria right beside, right behind, uh, below you. Below. Below. So now let's select another one, birthday. You see that we have a calendar. And then we're gonna have not only equal, we're gonna have greater, uh, greater than equal. Let's select, uh, let's see what else we have in this. Let's select salary, it's a number. And you even have the currency sign. You have the equal, greater, equal, and so on. And if we start putting things here, let's put, it's updating right beside. If we change the date here, it's updating right away. Let's do a different, uh, uh, example, okay. let's go to the department. Let's add a new condition and let's select, for example, department type. Then we have a combo box and we can select whatever we have and we have it right here. We can select, again, name. We can select any property, a checkbox, a, a boolean. So if you see, we're constru constructing the criteria dynamica, really intuitive and also it's beautiful. So. Uh, if we go to the code and we're going to briefly touch on it, you see that this is just basically a criteria uh, builder, that component that we're going to be using it later in our criteria property editor. And as you know, we have covered this a lot, all the four adapter model, the property editor and the render. But if you see, we always go to the render to see what is the control that is being used. And this control, the Blazor criteria builder, is basically, if you see, a dynamic control that is going to be opening drop downs, it's going to be opening three views, it's going to be opening check boxes, it's going to be showing text edit, it's going to be showing any control, the calendar the, that we need to be constructing that. And then we're going to be dynamically creating that criteria right beside. So, what do you think, Ochi? To be honest, I think that well, is great for the end user because the text box is, I mean, it works. But if you come from Windows form from, or from web forms, you will not like it. You will see like, how do I move to something that is more modern? Mm -hmm. And then some stuff look older, like, you know, like less implemented. So I found this implementation amazing. Like, again, as you said, that we have really smart people in the office. And again, as you said, kudos to the developer, uh, because this is kind of a tricky implementation. It's not something easy, but you need to know about XPO to extract the property information, the metadata, whatever is nested. Like for example, if you have invoice and then person like customer, then to expand the properties of customer. So it gets really tricky, really easy. So 
and also the implementation end up being really clean. So that, it looks like the the developer really think about it. So you know how it is like the first implementation is always messy, then you make it shorter, shorter, and shorter. And for, I mean, this is the perfect uh, replacement while we wait for Developer Express to release the official one, because they will always do, right? Yeah. But there are so many things to implement in, in Blazor right now that uh, this is not so important. Maybe, of course, grid, the grid is more important. Maybe the pivot charts and reports, and they just implemented the drawing system. So they've been like super, super, super busy. Of course, everything is important depending like which controller you're using. But this is uh, the most useful thing as a replacement that we found. So yeah, uh, and this is the first step. If you see, this is a property editor encapsulator. So now we can start thinking about taking the employee class and clicking an action in a pop-up where we have already that mm -hmm. uh, criteria builder as we are used in a lot of places in Windows. So now we can think about taking this and basically reuse it all across the application every time that we want to create a criteria, every time that we want the user to have a, a GUI-based criteria builder, something that is easier, something that is beautiful, something that they can just click, 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 create the, the condition that they want, inventory is sold, inventory is past date, inventory is uh, anything we and need, to, to and then honest, you can reuse it in list view to filter, you can reuse it anywhere. To be honest, I think that it, in the end, for the power users, they really need that. That avoid asking the development team for a report. You just do your criteria, you filter the stuff, you get the results that you want, you get them to Excel or something like that. So uh, for the power users, this is like more than amazing. All right, so we just wanted to give you a teaser. Uh, this uh, still is not a finished pro, but we are already using it. We have enough to start uh, integrating into our applications and we will keep you guys posted. Thank you for watching.